Welcome to Mystery Travels, and this time it's Mystery Travels Rewind, a new segment where we visit old investigations and see them in a new light. To kick things off, we're actually starting with a never before seen investigation of Medoc Mountain State Park in Littleton, North Carolina. It was a very intense investigation where we actually visited the state park, stayed overnight, and verified some reports of possible Civil War soldiers in the area. Aside from the fact that that area had also a bunch of Bigfoot sightings in the past, they also have a lot of history that goes into Medoc State Park. Medoc Mountain was established as a state park in 1973, boasting 3,893 acres of land, which is an immense area with a ton of history. It was actually property of Sidney Weller during the mid 19th century and until his death in 1854. After that, the area was witness to various different situations from a quaint little Boy Scout troop to the straight up Civil War of the United States. Not only did it have the actual Civil War, there were also accounts of Native Americans residing in the area, as well as a ton of unmarked graves in the area, meaning that there are a lot of spirits that probably have not had enough rest in this location. So with my partner, Avery Little, we went and ventured to Medoc Mountain State Park to verify what was going on in that area. We had actually talked with Stephen Barcello from the Cryptozoology and Paranormal Museum prior to this investigation, and he had actually shared with us a very interesting piece of evidence which he had captured in a thermal camera, which seemed to show a type of Civil War figure in the forest tree line. The interesting part about this thermal image was the fact that you could see the shape which was a very more humanoid shape. It wasn't Bigfoot or anything of the sort. You could see the little details such as the sling, the boxy hat that was more akin to a Civil War uniform. The only thing that was also a little bit concerning about this thermal image was the fact that the eyes seemed to be brighter than the rest of the silhouette, meaning the eyes were a type of piercing, glowing energy coming from those eyes. Let's see what we saw in that same area. With the vast amount of Bigfoot sightings and paranormal encounters, Littleton has not shied away from embracing their history. They've made their very own Bigfoot burger at the Littleton Food and Spirits restaurant, and after partaking in the local cuisine, Avery and I were fed and ready to head on out to Medoc State Park in order to commence our investigation. Hey everybody, this is Mystery Travels, Carlos Miguel and Avery here. We are at Medoc State Park. We have had recent sightings here about paranormal activity, such as possible Civil War soldiers. So we are just investigating the area to see what we might find. We'll also include in the video uh, images of the last evidence found in this area. So and we'll see what happens over here. It's definitely a weird area and pretty interesting. I see a bad moon rising. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, let's Hopefully. move. I'm terrible. Eh, you're, you're good. Oh, I know. I'm just making bad jokes. I know. I'm, just, I'm making dad jokes. You're already a dad, so you got that power. It's a magical power. Yeah. Hoping we run into people that are not exactly... Of the land of the living. Yeah. Oh, There's people. There too. Oh. That's the land of the living right there. Shine your light over there and see it. Yeah, that's a thick brush. Oh look, I can see a spider web right here just by that thing hanging. If yep. I walk into it, I can become Spider-Man. I don't think he's radioactive though. Oh, there he is. Are you radioactive? Oh, hey, I, I can see our breath. Yeah, that's why I'm confused. Why can't I see my breath? It doesn't I'm feel cold. As, I'm feeling hot as hell right now. Exactly. Hey, sometimes that might be an actual sign of being close to paranormal type. What am I, Danny Phantom now? 
Oh, shine your light. We can actually make it through here. A little bit, not much. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we can a little bit. This is interesting because there's a lot of areas here that might be, I don't know, it's creepy enough as is. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep the bathhouse in, in view so I know how to get back. So the interesting thing about Medoc State Park is that not only you have paranormal, but you also have a lot of Bigfoot sightings. And here we have, interestingly enough, you can shine it right there, this tree. Seems almost uprooted, bro. This, oh boy, there's a hole in the worm. That was a good one. Yeah, I try to avoid those trees. Yeah, my leg isn't really the best. So... I, mean, I already carry the team on my back, so... You know, I'd like to try not to carry you on my back too, if I can help it. Oh, the internet would have a field day with that one. I'd, I'd do it if I had to. <laughs> I'd prefer to avoid that if we can help it. So this is like, look at it, like you can see. So normally when things like this fall, they just fall over. Yeah, they just fall over and they also break like higher up. They don't really break from the ground. If it goes, if it breaks from the ground, definitely something knocked it over. It's a little heavy for a deer. Yeah, definitely a deer did not do this. I mean, don't get me wrong. It could be, person. it could be a person easily, but it just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I mean, I've knocked over some things when I was drunk, but never this big. I think you're going to knock this down by accident. So that's the other thing with this area. There are sightings of Bigfoot and some casts have been found in the trails in Medoc State Park. Well, the footprints have been found and the casts have been made. But well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you know. know what you mean. Though. You know, bro. Come on. It's the middle of the night. Okay, see? What I'm thinking about doing in this area, because it's a good open area. Yeah. Do an EVP and spirit box session. Okay. Right so, here. Yeah. Uh, spirit box EVP session, solo. Here, take it. Yeah, you got all the equipment in the back. Five minutes each. Mm -hmm. um, or we can just do five minutes kind of together, I guess. This experiment is otherwise known in the ghost hunting community as the Estes method, a way of establishing two-way communication through a method of sensory deprivation with questions and answers. Because it's kind of like a sensory deprivation type deal. Ah, uh, okay. So that way I don't affect you, you don't affect me. Mm -hmm. Camera down, understand. headphones on. You're going to keep the night vision camera, then we're going to switch it over to me. It's on the ground. Yeah, it's going to be over. easier for you than for me, but you can help me when we when I finish my session. Yeah, you can do yours first if you want. Yeah, I can do my first. I'm going to be facing away all that area. That is creepy enough. And I thought that was like somebody... It looks like a mound of dirt. <laughs> like, like, we're, we're, we're used to it. We've been in, in the military, so... It, it just... wouldn't surprise you at this point. Yeah. Not so much does. Just run random guy there. I'm going. Alright. Oh, I'm trying to find my... Wait there. Can you see my light if you turn your back? If I'm looking straight in front, I can't see any light. I'm cool. Things I have to. Cool. Yeah. Alright, I'm set up and over here. Hey, ghost. It's your boy, Avery. Just... Chilling out here in the forest with you guys. Um, is there anybody here with us? Hello? So if there are any, uh, if there are any spirits with us today, uh, were you a part of the war? What? If you guys would like, you can walk over and touch my friend on the shoulder. Just to let us know you're here. Voice, I don't know what it said. Did you leave any loved ones behind? Peter? If you can reach out and touch my friend's spirit box over there, it's the thing with the little green light on it. Please do so now. Never? Okay, fine. I mean, if you don't want to touch it, that's okay. If you are here with us, please. You're really, you are more than welcome to touch anything you would like. Okay, okay. Getting some soldier vibes here, I guess, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh, did you have a sweetheart that you left behind? I do. Did you have a family? Hope. 
Interesting. Interesting. Splendid. Splendid. There is movement going on there. One thing that I do want to chime in in this situation is that while we were doing these spare buck sessions, Avery and myself had no contact with each other aside from the switcheroo. We did not talk to each other about where we were looking or what we were feeling at the moment. This way, it was a little bit easier to avoid influencing our perspectives. For example, when I was looking at distance and I saw those footsteps walking in a distance, I didn't really tell Avery what I saw. And then when he was in that same area, he also felt like he was being watched from that area exactly where I saw the footsteps, which was actually very interesting that we both felt like a presence from that same area when we didn't talk to each other about it. Was this paranormal? Was this cryptozoological? We cannot know for sure. I am not one to say that was 100% a ghost. It could have easily been any other type of creature. Mirok Mountain is home to a variety of wildlife. It might also have been just as easily anything living in that area that we could not have seen. However, it was interesting that we both noticed that something was in that area. I think something was there. I don't know if it was paranormal. The way that I saw it, it was definitely weird. It could have been a trick of the light. However, it was cool. It was cool. Are there any Civil War soldiers that are still stuck in this plane that wish to communicate with us? If you can, please utilize my friend. You. There is a small box next to him. You will be able to light it up. That way we can know if you wish to communicate with us. We don't mean any harm. We are just interested in communicating with you and finding out why you are still here. I heard people talk about a Peter or a friend. Is that your friend? Are you trying to find him? John? John? Is John like Peter's friend? Is that your name? John or Ron? If you can say anything, That is weird. I smell there? like perfume. No, really, that, that's super weird. That, that really smells like flowery perfume. Another cool thing to note here is the fact that in the same location where Avery was asking the question of if there were somebody that had like a past lover or something, I had that smell of flowery perfume, which again, I did not know at all that Avery asked that question. So the fact that Avery asked that question in that area, and then out of nowhere, I had that smell of flowery perfume, it definitely was something a little bit jarring. So definitely cool to note. That's weird. Are you walking behind me? Are you around us right now? I heard people walking in the background. Is that you? Seven? Man, there's like... Is this like a platoon or something? Like a squad of people? Like, okay, I heard a knock. But that's the forest. It could be anything. Is there anything you want to tell us? We are open to hear anything you need to communicate with us. Yeah, they just got cold over here. Okay, 30 seconds. Here you can get in the watch. Now. Where's he at? Woof. You good? Yeah, honestly, it got cold for a second over here. Didn't read anything over there, but... But it got cold? Sure, it's a quick second. That's that's cool. <laughs> I felt like I was being watched, too. I felt like sometimes you just get that feeling of anxiety where you feel like somebody's watching you. Yeah, it kind of... I kind got of did, that while I was sitting here. I kind of did feel that when I was looking at this area. Yeah, right out that way. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I kind of kept looking at it. The interesting thing is that where they found the, the figure, 
It was out that way. It was like in in an area like this. I don't yeah. know if it's the exact area, obviously, but it was an area like this. Yeah, it's it's making the hair on the back of my neck like kind of stand on end a little bit. Not gonna lie, it did happen to me when I was sitting there too. So that's why I thought this was like a good area too. <laughs> with with the long ass hair on the back of my neck, that's something. Yeah, definitely. No man, but honestly, like, so you said a couple of names, like. Yeah, I kept, hearing, I kept hearing like either John or Ron, but I couldn't really tell you which one. It could have even been Don, for all we know. I honestly, yeah, no, but it I, sounded like a name. It didn't sound like you know random syllable. It just sounded kind of like name. It, it was something, I'll tell you that. And the feeling I got right here, the anxiety I got, like near the end. It was near the end actually that it happened. I kind of looked up and just, you, just, you know, I just felt something. Yeah, no, it, I don't know if it's like they they time it or what, or they're taking the time. But bro, it's like. But it's funny that I felt that at the same time when it was towards the end for you. Yeah. You also felt something like that. So it's definitely weird. I kind of like saw, like once it was like finishing up, yeah. like I knew your light was uh, moving. Yeah. I don't know if it was part of the light moving. I saw like footsteps. Oh. So that's the interesting thing. Like I was looking at that area, like trying to avoid any light from over here. Yeah. I did obviously take into account that, yes, moving the light might, you know, cause shadows and stuff. Yeah. But, but it still. did. But it did look like distinctively, look like actual footsteps. Specifically, because I couldn't see any shadows on top. I only saw like that on the bottom. Man, if we had a second infrared camera on that, that would be really cool. I was about to move this one, but sadly, you know, I was it like, stopped right at the right time. Yeah. So, so I actually turned around to see if that was you moving the the light. Yeah. You had actually not started moving the light. So yeah. I don't. So I don't know. Like after that, you started moving. Uh, so when I was over there, there was one thing that really caught me off guard. I don't know if, I have, if it happened to you, but when I was over there, I actually felt like perfume, like I could smell. Hmm. And it's like super. Like obviously, right now, I'll, all I'm smelling is bark, and dirt, trees. and yeah. trees. But no, it was like out of nowhere. It's a weird whiff. Just a weird whiff of just like, and it just kind of like passed after a while. But it was kind of when you said John. Interesting. So I was like asking a lover or mm -hmm. or a loved one that's still looking for him or something. Or I don't know. It, it was weird. It was a weird. And I kind of like felt like people like walking in the behind me. Uh -huh. uh, I shined the light there and everything because I was like, you know, maybe it's just campers trying to figure out what the hell we're doing here because, you know. These two crazy people are just asking random questions to air. But, yeah. But, uh, no, I shined the light and nobody was there. And I'm pretty sure if somebody was there, I would have seen them or they would have literally addressed me like, hey, what are you guys doing? Yeah. They I'm didn't sure. even do that. So that's, yeah, that, that, that. Yeah, no, it, it was weird. It, it was definitely weird. Uh, nothing happened with the EM, EMF, right? No, it stayed, it stayed pretty consistent. The only thing that did happen wasn't even anything paranormal. It was literally probably just a bug that went across it. Like oh. I saw a little like, it looked like a leg going over, up and down over it. I'm like, uh, okay. Well, that's definitely just not Just vibing, paranormal. okay, that's cool. That's not paranormal, but you know, we'll take it. It was weird. The spare box that, they're not going through the spare box. No. But, um. Turn off the EMF too. Okay. I'm gonna go with a uh, straight up EVP session. Sometimes you need to roll them up. No, no, no. Uh, you don't want him coming up there wilding like that? No, no, we're not doing that. Well, honestly, if a ghost came up running and wilding over to us, <laughs> I think we would jump and become the most famous ghost hunters. Seriously. Or the most stupidest ones because they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't get them wilding. Yeah. I don't know. It's half uh, and half, you know? Yeah. You got to know how to balance it out. But, yes. I'm just going to go ahead and just clear off that there was like a, a laughter in the background. That is most likely the campers. So yeah. people don't don't misunderstand. I think that that was an, a genuine EVP laughter. Yeah, that is definitely the children out there. And they're very freaking loud. Yeah, but... But we're out in the middle of the forest, so... Yeah, and we're uh, really far away from them regardless. So luckily, you know, minimal interference, but that was like a really loud laughter. And yeah. I don't want to confuse that with actual evidence we might find. Yeah, that's definitely not EVP. That's very much humans. humans. Yep, there's those darn humans.
the people on the right side of the light. That doesn't sound human. That sounds like an animal in the distance. You mean that dog? Yeah, that kind of sounds like a dog howling or something. It was just weird for a minute yeah, there. kind of like a bloodhound sound. I'm not an expert on dogs, bro. <laughs> I just know it is a wolf. That's <laughs> Big pupper, that's all I know. It, at the moment I mentioned that you and I were military, like your prior mil military, I'm current military, mm -hmm. that's when you started saying like the number, the names and yeah. stuff. So I don't know if that was like a trigger or anything. Military service seems to be a good trigger. I mean, naturally, if these people are... Soldiers. Soldiers, like, from the Civil War, or from whatever era, honestly. They're probably grunts. <laughs> they, they, they probably hate us. That's why they're not uh, talking to us, because they know we're pogues. We thank you for your time. We apologize that you are still in this area. Please trust that we are trying to communicate to help and understand and tell your story I don't know if recently there was a sighting of maybe one of you in the area I remember seeing those feet in the distance mm -hmm. I don't know if that was you walking towards me we both felt a sort of sense of being watched I don't know I don't feel it right now no I think that now there's two of us they're not watching anymore Maybe it's that. Maybe that's why it's better to do these like one at a time. Yeah. But we thank you for your time. We are sorry for everything. We respect and appreciate your service. Regardless of whichever side you were on. Just know that things have gotten better. And hopefully things may get better for you as well. And you may move on to where you need to be. Thank you so much. Good night, brothers. With 3,893 acres of land, there is no doubt that Medoc Mountain has many secrets lurking within the land. Whether this is families of Bigfoot or the restless souls of Civil War soldiers. Nevertheless, we are eternally grateful that Littleton, North Carolina and Medoc Mountain opened their doors to us so we could investigate this amazing location. Definitely it wasn't the craziest investigation. We didn't get a ton of different evidence, but we did get some really nice little tidbits. So I'm really excited to keep on investigating these locations and see where our travels take us to next. Again, thank you so much for joining our travels, for following us with this, and hopefully now that we are a little bit more settled down, we can start back at it again with more investigations and trying to figure out what mysteries the world has. And I'll see you in the next one. So remember, you can always communicate with us through our social media and also comment down below. Let us know any locations that you think might be worth checking out, any mysteries that you want to share with us. And we'll see where our travels take us to next.